it's me Jess I'm back again and today's video is going to be on this makeup look that I have going on today um it's so nice to be back uh it, this was probably one of the hardest fucking videos I've ever done um because I'm still playing around with my lighting um it took me hours to film and I'm also playing with a new camera so hopefully you guys can definitely see the difference in the quality um, on top of that, it is hot as balls, <laughs> okay, and it just rained, so it's super humid, and I literally just cannot even breathe right now, and I'm sorry that I'm fanning, but guys, it's hot, okay, anyways, so today's video is going to be, like I said, on this makeup look, it's more of like a pinky, corally, kind of like monochromatic type of look, and I use a lot of the ColourPop Butterfly Collection items, so I know that they're still available, so if you guys are interested in purchasing them, then go ahead. If not, find similar colors that you guys have in your collection and you can just follow along with me. I will also use the Venus palette and yeah, I mean, I'm obsessed with this collection. I'm hoping to do a haul and that's pretty much it guys. If you want to know how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Oh, guys. I totally made my nose super red because I was just decided it was a good idea to squeeze the fucking life out of it. Grabbing my ColourPop palette and this one is the right here double <laughs> double blah 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 palette. I don't know how to say that, but all I know is that it looks like this. And the first shade I'm actually going to be grabbing is this yellow one right here. So we're just going to start setting the base, which I cleaned up my brows with concealer. Ooh, I hope we're not blurry. Out of the ColourPop palette, we're actually going to grab this orange shade right here. Um, I believe it's called Hard. 224 brush from MAC. I'm actually just going to put that into my crease and really just start buffing that out to really warm up the crease because it's a nice orangey brown. And this is actually going to act as my transition shade as well. And next I'm going to take the shade Monkey Business from ColourPop, which looks like this, and it's a pretty orange shade. And I'm going to take that into the crease as well to definitely warm it up with a MAC 217. Put that right into my crease, lightly starting out here to really build it up and then start blending in as I go. Now, it probably looks a little bit neonish, which it is, um, but we'll tend to warm it up just a little bit later on. I really like this shadow. Um, I wish I could just wear it on my lid by itself. I probably could. But, um, that's gonna be a bit tricky. With these shadows, too, you just gotta keep buffing them if you're using them into your crease and really have a light, gentle hand when you're uh, picking the product up into your brush. I'm gonna go back to the 224 I had originally and start blending out the edges. And if you feel like it's too orangey for you, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up some more of that hard color from ColourPop and just start blending it again. Before I go ahead and put my lid color on, I'm actually going to cut my crease with some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and my MAC 247. And I'm going to just pretty much cut it. You guys know how to do this already. This will help the lid color adhere a lot better and also it'll give it more of like that clean cut because if I didn't cut it out, um, I feel like the shadows would have just blended all the way together. Now with this side too, I need to watch out because I feel like this lid goes a little bit higher and I definitely go a little bit higher than my lid space because as you guys can see, it doubles up, right? But um, on this side, I don't know, I have like two different eyelids and it's so weird. Like this one can go up a little bit higher, this one kind of stops in the middle. I don't know. But try to get them as even as possible, guys. So I'm going to stop right there, and then I'm going to take my 217 with whatever products left on the brush and kind of blend it inward, just so it's not a harsh line between the orange, the monkey business, and the lid colors I'm about to apply. 
Yeah, because I kind of want to only cut right towards the center and leaving this spot open. Next, I'm going to take my Lime Crime Venus palette. Ugh, I'm obsessed with this palette. And then I'm going to take the color Shell. I put this shadow on first. Oh my god, I really love like this look by itself. Damn it! <laughs> Maybe another day. Next, I'm taking Race You by ColourPop. Like I said, it's called Race You. And it's this pretty pink shade with gold shimmer. It almost kind of reminds me of an eyeshadow version of Orgasm by NARS. Ugh, it's so pretty. The only thing is it doesn't show up on me too good so like I said I had to put a base down first um, so I'm hoping now that I did this it'll come out better I even try to wet my brush and all that jazz and it just did not come out right but I still kind of like the way it looks as like a topper so I'm just gonna start right into the center just to get that gold shimmer onto my lid you see what I'm saying guys like by itself it was kind of like horrible but on top of another shadow it looks really nice unfortunately by itself I know you can use your finger to apply these but it just doesn't I don't know because I just want a little bit more definition I'm gonna add the color creation into that outer corner just a little bit just a little bit because I kind of feel like it's washing out together but just a little bit of warmth I mean I do kind of want it monochromatic but not too monochromatic where it's just like blah 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 going to be taking my NYX liquid liner and I'm just going to do a wing so you guys can go ahead and do that and I'll be right back so I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Lash Domination Mascara. You can take whatever mascara you guys have. Seriously, I'm only using this to coat my lashes because then I want to add eyelashes on top to make the look appear better. <laughs> and the lashes I'm going to be taking are the Fame Lash in the style Chandelier. These are my ultimate favorite lash, guys. They're so freaking bomb. They are 3D mink lashes, so you are able to use them up to 30 times if you're careful with them. I do have a coupon code with them, so I'll list it below if you are interested. To prime my face, I am using the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Uh, anyone that knows me knows I absolutely love this primer. Um, it makes anything and everything you put on top of your skin water resistant. And it also... Uh, min <laughs> minimalizes the appearance of fine lines pores and wrinkles and it's great for any skin types but um, it's great for oily skin because it mattifies you as well but it doesn't mattify you to the point where um, you're super duper dry so typically I like to put this in my nose area and, and my cheeks just anywhere I have imperfections which is pretty much <laughs> my entire face <laughs> No, totally kidding, but I really like to put it right in this section. Oh my god, my nose is still super swollen from like squeezing it. Why did I do that? Oh, for foundation, I'm actually going to be taking two different ones. Um, personally, the only reason why I do this is because this one matches me, but it's a little light, I feel like, and this one kind of turns a little orange, but I do like the color it gives me together. It's the only way I can make this foundation work because this foundation is just something else, if you ask me. So, I'm just going to put um, a couple dabs of this one on my face, just like this. Um, some of you may have heard reviews. I feel like this does oxidize on me, so that's kind of why I like to go in with the Maybelline. Even though it kind of looks like it matches like perfection, but to be honest guys, I'm telling you right now, 
that shit oxidizes like no one's business and i'm just gonna take a couple dabs of this one as well so then i'm gonna blend out my foundation with the real techniques uh blending foundation beauty blender i guess um this is my first time trying it guys so i'm interested to see how it'll work it's a lot sturdier than like the actual beauty blender um the beauty blender is softer this one i feel like is way more stiffer not in a bad way but i shall see once my foundation is blended out all the way kind of feel like it's making my foundation look a little bit streaky Ooh, I look a little casty, but I promise you guys it matches in person. Hmm. I'm going to take my two uh, concealers. One is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Concealer, and the other one is the Tarte Shape Tape. I like to mix these two because I feel like the light stands a little bit too light sometimes. Oh my god, my nose looks so big. So I'm just going to... Place these two together right under here. Blend this one out first. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Sorry guys. Like you see how it keeps doing that? It keeps like picking up the product. And like it just keeps, I don't know, I don't like that. Look at it. Yeah, I don't like how this is making me look. I don't know how people say this is like a beauty blender. This is absolutely not at all like a beauty blender. To even say this is remotely a dupe, to even remotely say like this is a, no. No. I guess I'll try with a different foundation, but for right now, absolutely not. I'm going to be taking my Peach Perfect Powder by Too Faced. Uh, it is a mattifying powder. So I'm just going to set my under eye concealer a little bit with that. Just kind of, sort of bake with it. Don't even know if I really want to do that with this sponge. But we're going to give it a try. I'm going to take the other side and get in here. I'm just going to set all over my face, guys. Next, I'm just going to kind of contour my cheeks with this bronzer from ColourPop. It doesn't say a name. It just says bronzer in the back. Um, so I remember I had the box, but you know how that goes. So I'm just going to kind of contour my cheeks a little bit, define them with the other side of the Kat Von D brush. Um, you're actually able to like build it up rather than just like kind of have like harsh contours everywhere or harsh uh, bronzing effects make sure you hit that jawline Next, I'm going to go back into the Lime Crime palette, and I'm going to take this color right here, Muse. And I'm actually going to take a really stiff, angled, not even angled, it's just a stiff brush like this. And I'm actually going to just place that right underneath my lash line, just to give it some definition. 
because we're going to end up buffing that out anyway. But I really like the contrast look of like the burgundy against the corals. So then next I'm just going to pick up some more of that monkey business and then just go ahead and buff that right underneath the lash line. Right on my bottom lid. Just to really smudge out that burgundy shade. For my highlighter, I'm actually going to take Whisper of Guilt from MAC, which is like bomb.com. Bitch, boom. Mm, 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 mm. And I feel like because it's more of a golden champagne highlighter, I feel like it will go way better with this look. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm. I'm gonna chill out with it on my, no, uh, my chin, oh, uh, my forehead because I gotta go pick up my daughter and it's hot. And I'm just gonna place some right in the center, right there, some on my nose, and don't worry guys, That is steep. So with a pencil brush, I'm just actually going to place that as my inner corner highlight. Just to open that area up. The next for my cheeks, I'm actually going to take the Just Do It uh, Duo from the ColourPop collection, which looks like this. Um, unfortunately, I feel like it's supposed to be a blush and a highlighter, but I feel like that's way too dark for me. So I'm going to probably mix these two together. Or maybe just use this one. I don't know. Between my contour and highlighter, yeah, I'm just going to use that one. Ooh, I feel like this will actually complement the look so much better. Oh, yeah. This will actually help blend the highlighter and the contour together. Put that shit right in the middle so it's not like a super harsh line. So I want to take one of these from the collection. Um, I'm not quite sure which one because I feel like it's a little corally. And I don't see any that's corally. Let's see. Hmm. Should we go with this one? Hmm. Let's see. Maybe that one. And that was in the shade Little... Tings. Little tings? Oh, it is. Little tings. Or should we do psych? Or should we do ink blots? I don't know. Let's see. Ink blot is kind of too dark. Let me see. I want it to kind of get really monochromatic up in this bitch. Oh, I think I might do that one. Yeah, that one's called psych. <laughs> I'm going to take Spice Lip Liner by MAC. Cause I <sighs> I'm gonna take Psych the matte pencil from Colorbop and just go right in. my loves I apologize um, my camera did cut off the battery died and I had to charge it so I look a little different that's why it just rained hopefully my lighting's not off um, so then I'm gonna top my lipstick off with the peach gloss from Too Faced mmm it smells so good guys it's too hot like you know how it's like humidity hot I don't know where you guys live but when it's humid hot and then it rains, bitch, it gets worse. It gets so much more worse than what it was prior. So um, anyways, I'm going to set my, I mean, I already did it, but I'm going to set my foundation with the All Nighter Setting Spray of our Urban, which already did me some justice, guys, because, um, like I said, I took a break and had to go and pick up my daughter, and I was, like, literally sweating everywhere. Um, and it's just, especially with the mineral primer too, uh, with the Urban Decay and the mineral, um, mineral primer, my sweat just sat on top. <laughs> 
So this is the finished look. I hope you guys try it out. And if you do, definitely let me know on Instagram or leave a comment down below. And if you do post pictures, tag me on Instagram. And yeah, just let me know, guys, because I'm interested to see what you guys come up with. I hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup look. Um, I know the lighting is probably all over the place, but I'm really trying uh, to get back into the groove of making videos. It's so hard because it's so different nowadays. And on top of that, I have different lighting, a new camera. So yeah, just bear with me, guys. To give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and that is it. You guys take care, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.